Hey guys, I'm Patriot Warrior, the Irish Gamer, and welcome back to Minecraft Dinosaurs. So today, in this episode of Minecraft Dinosaurs, we're going to be doing some more work on our enclosures in the... Well, we call it the bug house, but from now on we should call it the terrarium. Uh, we shall be working on our enclosures in the terrarium. So, uh, and also I will be doing some other stuff, but, you know, pretty simple stuff. But before we get started... I would like to say that most of the people that watch my videos are uh, unsubscribed. So if you are one of those few people, uh, consider subscribing. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe if you don't like it. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Alright, so first things first. Uh, the next creature that we'll be putting in, at least getting its thing set up, uh, will be the Arthropleura. The next creature we will be putting in today is the one that we finished for yesterday, well, last video, is the Tick Talic. We will be uh, putting that one in today, which it's kind of like a early version of a crocodile, I believe. And also, I have been working on getting some more trees in. Those ones are pretty cool too. They look like cordite logs. And also, I thought I would show off my smelter. Uh, another YouTuber, friend of mine, uh, sorry, I shouldn't get near them, they're very loud. <laughs> Lots of them, but another YouTube friend of mine, Survival Mike, he's uh, pretty cool if you want to go check him out. He actually uh, decided to use my smelter design, uh, and I think he likes it a lot. It's very simple. It's for people that aren't very big on redstone. Basically, all you need is to get furnaces, and the top, uh, so you need for the top ones, uh, you need to put a uh, hopper. That's what it's called. You need to put a hopper on top of each furnace so that it lets in uh, what you want to cook. So the top hopper is for what you want to cook and then you have the back hopper over here you want to put it on the back of the furnaces that is where all of the fuel comes in and then the bottom hoppers of course are the ones that go into the chest. I have them set up so that they all go into each other and then come into the chest down here and simply enough this one is a very uh, simplified version of a super smelter that uses minecarts. So all you need to do is, if you want to cook something, you come over here, you click on the minecart chest, and you press the button. Now you need to make it this long. You need to make it two blocks on the end here, or it will, uh, whenever you put the items in, it will automatically start ejecting it into this hopper if it's only one block. So you need it to be two blocks long at least on both of these. And the cool thing is, is that it works decently well it's not as perfect as a uh, redstone automated one, but it's a lot easier to make and uh, not as time consuming, and it does just about as good of a job. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. You just need to get powered rails, and I used uh, levers because they're easier than using like a power torch or anything like that. I would just use levers on one side, and plus you can always use them to turn off. So on this side that isn't two blocks long, uh, I would actually suggest using uh, redstone blocks probably, maybe. Those might work, but if you if they don't work very well, I would suggest using levers. They work the best. But over here, you're going to want levers. The reason why is because you could just turn off the system when you don't want it running and so that you can put in items. It's very easy, and it's really nice. But uh, that's what you guys aren't here for today. What you're here for is to see... Oh, crap. I forgot one more thing. I actually almost forgot. I actually... Uh, have collected a little bit of biofossils and I want to hopefully maybe get another Arthropleura for our uh, enclosure. We will definitely be getting more of them uh, in the mean t in the future. Uh, I will certainly try and get more of them in the future. At the moment that's about all the chance we have and I only have one. But uh, we'll come back and see those at the end of the episode so stick around if you want to see the results of those. Now it is time for what you've been waiting for. It is time to introduce the Tiktaleks into their new enclosure. Uh, so as you can see, not any grass yet. I need to fix that. I'm trying. I will say that much. I am trying, at least of the other one. Holy crap, it is taking forever. I'll show you real quick. Let me put that in my inventory just in case. But I am trying. It's finally spreading. You know how long it took for this to spread? It took like all of last episode. Like all of the time I was working in last episode and that time lapse took forever so I'm gonna have to do that again over here it will be fun but these guys are pretty cool uh, they are water board mostly I think they get in the land eventually like uh, frogs but look at these little guys 
Hi, buddies. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not dangerous. I'm pretty sure they're fine. But at the moment, I think they're only aquatic. And I think they eventually become land-dwelling. But they should have plenty of space. So, uh, and if they don't, I can always fix it up a little bit, change it up for them. Uh, these are these are extinct creatures, so who you know who knows how it's gonna go. Now over here is where we're gonna be doing the Arthropleura. Uh, I want them to have the big one because they're very big centipede-looking things. They're pretty creepy. Uh, <laughs> you guys will have to wait until that episode comes out for uh, it to happen. But uh, they're pretty creepy-looking things. I've seen them before. Now I need to. I want to uh, change up the area back here. So let's fill this in a little bit. And I'm going to add in some uh, cordite tree uh, logs because I think they look nice and they go with the aesthetic. So back in uh, dinosaur times and all that stuff, pine trees were the main tree. There weren't like any, I don't think there were any like trees like oaks and birches, none of those. I don't think there was any deciduous, it was all coniferous. So deciduous is what you think of. When you hear uh, oak tree and all that stuff, that's a coniferous, uh, uh, deciduous tree. Same with birch and all that stuff. Coniferous are what you think of when you think of like a spruce tree or something like that, or a Christmas tree. The pine, those are what those are. So I think this is pretty good. Uh, lots of area, and this should spread easily to it. And uh, since there's so much of it, it spreads faster once you get it started. So let's uh, build up some logs. This needs to be like really uh, piney looking is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to make it look like a pine forest. Be really cool looking. So this one in the back would be really tall. Should really make these like super tall to be honest. Uh, they'll look really cool because trees back then were tall. I know that much. Now I could be wrong. Arthropleura could have not lived during the time of the coniferous uh, reign of trees. But I think they did, and you know what? That works for me, and plus, I think it looks nice, and at least I'm not using West Indian Lilac. Hehe. <laughs> uh, tell me if you get that joke down below. Any Jurassic Park fans? Any Jurassic Park fans? Probably. A lot of people that watch these are probably big Jurassic Park fans like I used to be. I was a huge one. Uh, do -do -do -do. And another trick I like to employ, I will show you guys in a sec. Uh, if you noticed on both of my other ones, I actually take torches and I move them off the ground and stuff like that. I stick them onto the logs so that, uh, you know, they're a little bit hidden, you know? You don't see them. And it looks it looks nice and it lights up the trees and stuff like that so you're able to see stuff. Uh, this looks pretty nice. Oh, I think it's time to head to bed. So I'm going to run back over there and I'll be uh, right back with you guys. All right. So I am back from uh, going to sleep. I did look up something real quick. I wanted to see if I could make pods all, but unfortunately it doesn't. Hey, look! See, I told you they could get on land. They're like little crocodile things. They're pretty creepy. Pretty crazy little suckers. They're crazy little buggers. And they're loud too, kind of. They're not as loud as uh, some other things I have. Some other guys I have, but you know, they're decent enough. Might as well reuse those chests though. Uh, what was I talking about before? Alright, well, first things first, we need to, uh, do the tree, uh, limbs and stuff like that. I need to extend these out. They're gonna be high up, because they're not supposed to really be seen, the, uh, limbs are. You know? They're not really noticeable. Since these are tall, tall trees, I want them to be, like, large. High up there, so you can see them if you look. And it makes it kind of hard to see the roof, at least. You know, it looks nicer. But you can't see everything. And also, you know, yeah, you, you get what I mean. Hopefully. Hopefully you get what I mean. So, some people I get worried about, okay? <laughs> I will say that much. Uh, so let's put that there and put that there. But uh, yeah, tell me if you uh, like that smelter design. Uh, I know a few people probably do. I think it's a really nice one. It's so simple and easy to create. It doesn't take much to make at all. It took, I mean, I figured out how to make it on my own on uh, just by uh, messing around with it a little bit. It took us, I think it took us all like maybe 20 minutes to figure out. And that's pretty short time for uh, stuff like that. I know people that spend like days, I think, working on trying to make better, uh, uh, 
uh, what are they called? Redstone contraptions. That's the word I'm looking for. Redstone contraptions. So, uh, if you're wondering, uh, where I got the idea to make my, uh, smelter, my super smelter, I actually got the idea from, uh, Mumbo Jumbo. Uh, it was, I based it off of his design, his super smelter's design in, uh, uh Hermitcraft Season 4, actually. I really liked how it worked really well, but, uh, if you remember that video, if you remember that, uh, video, and, uh, whenever he made it, it was really, uh, complicated, to be completely honest. It was, like, super complicated. So, it, like, <laughs> uh, so, for those of you that don't know, it, uh, actually would, uh, hold the minecart. So, you know the chest minecart that I was using? It would actually hold that minecart in place of a piston. For a certain length of time, while a hopper fed into it from a chest that he filled stuff up with, and it would uh, it would fill up to a exact perfect amount that he wanted, like it, like a perfect like so many. Uh, he had so many what's it called? Uh, uh, smelters. He had so many furnaces, and it uh, it got enough to put one in each at a time. Or a couple in each at a time. It like perfectly was lined up to do that. And it was pretty crazy. But uh, I didn't want to spend time trying to figure out how to do that. So I based it off his using the mine carts and all that stuff. And instead of automating everything and making it where it automatically got fed uh, a fuel source and stuff like that. I just made it a simple manual version that you can turn on and off that is simple redstone. Uh, this looks pretty nice. I would love to get some pots all. This would look great on the floor. Uh, better than the grass actually I would prefer it but I have no idea where to get some in my world I do know where some like uh, uh, I have tons of spruce forests around me the problem is I don't know where any big spruce forest is around me so the mega ones the ones that you can get the podsole from plus I don't think podsole spreads does it no I don't think it does plus I think I would need uh, a silk touch uh, shovel to even get it I really love this design. It's so simple. Like, you think that they would easily be able to get out, but they actually can't. It's like a really short pin. It's kind of like a barbed wire fence, you know? Except they really can't get out. These guys are really cool, though. But, uh, I think that's about it for, uh, the work we're doing on this. Yeah, that's about it. There's nothing else to do in there unless I got Podzol. That's about it. So uh, let's go back and check on our uh, <laughs> our biofossils. Let's see what we got from those. And uh, hopefully we got another Arthropleura because it would be nice to set up some Arthropleura for next episode, you know. But we did get our Tiktaliks in. Those guys are pretty cool. Uh, they're basically like little crocodile dudes. And I also got some uh, Paleograph trees. So these are uh, another uh, spruce light. They're another uh, coniferous tree that looks like the cordite one so it's brown and uh... it looks it kinda looks like a palm tree to be completely honest uh... no we got two ankleo well that sucked Well, <laughs> anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video of minecraft dinosaurs and i'll see you guys later